So let's keep building. If we look at our sketch again, we know that the next thing is the number of diners. So let's put in a label, and then we're going to put in a series of radio buttons. All right, so let's put diners label equals label going in the root again, and the text equals number of diners. Let's go ahead and grid that. And that goes in one row below our scale. So row equals four, column equals one. And let's start putting in our radio buttons. And again, the thing with radio buttons is only one of those can be checked at any particular time. That's why we can only have um, one specific number of diners. You can't have four and five diners. It's going to be either four or five. So let's put in one diner equals a TK enter radio button. Okay. And then it's going to go in the root. The text will equal one. And the variable again, we use variable instead of text variable in a radio button, equals number of diners. The key thing is all our radio buttons need to have the same variable so that when someone chooses it, that number gets assigned to this variable. And the value of the variable, if that one gets chosen, is 1. So I'll have, so I'll have 1 diner. And that's one diner dot grid row equals five column equals one. All right, let's do it. If there were two diners, that's going to equal another radio button. It's going to go on the root. The text will equal two. The variable is the same as the other variable. It has to be number of diners, so only that only one value will get chosen. But this time, if, num if this radio button is selected, the value will equal 2 for the number of diners. And then we'll grid that. Row equals 5. Column equals 2. And now to save time, we're just going to copy and paste this and just change some values because we know we're going to have five of these radio buttons. And then we'll just copy it one more. Hope that will give us five. So let's do three diners. Text will equal three. And the value will equal three. And the column will equal three. This will be four diners, value will equal four, and this value will equal four, and the column will equal four. And then the last one will be five diners, text will be five, and the value will be five. And then column will be five. All right, let's go ahead and run that and see how this looks so far. Uh, ran. So something happened here. So something happened. So I need to go back and see what I, I messed up on. And I forgot to change these, the grid here. So this needs to be three diners. This needs to be, oops, three diners. This is four diners. And this is five diners. Now let's try to run it again. And there we go. We've got one, two, notice that only one of these is selected at a time. It's not laid out very well, but all the information is there. So I'm getting close. Let's go back to the sketch. Now we need a total per person. And this looks like an entry field, but it's actually a label that will be updated once I click the Calculate Tip button. So let's go ahead and put in another label. 
and it's going to be, we'll call it total label text equals a, another label and root and the text equals total amount per person. And we'll grid that. The row will be six this time, so below my radio buttons. We'll put the column back in one. And then we'll put the label for that text, so total label value equals a label. It'll be in root. And instead of putting text in there to begin with, it's going to start out blank until I click the calculate button, but I'm going to use my text variable. I forget what I call it, final amount per person. And then I'm going to grid that. In row six, column two. So again, I'm not going to put any default text because I want it to be blank when the, it starts up. I could put I could set this to zero and then update it with the calculate button, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it as this text variable. Okay, the last thing I need to do is put in the button. So let's go ahead and put in the calculate button, and that's going to equal a button. It's going to go in root again, and the text on my button will be calculate And then the calculate button dot grid, it's going to be row equals eight, column equals one. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that. Well, there we go. I have a simple tip calculator with all my widgets in there. This part works, this part works. But when I click the calculate tip, nothing happens. So in the next video, we're going to actually set this up so that it is a working GUI.